Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. Right, this video today here, um, hopefully I'll make this into two videos. Uh, but for now, let's kind of focus on this. And as per the title, thumbnail, whatever, uh, we're going to try to demonstrate the IM608 with the adapters, with the IMKPA adapters. Uh, trying to erase, hopefully successfully. Um, if you have seen the video for the unboxing, did not went that well, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to try to um, erase a M3508 um, in that particular cluster. I believe the chip in there is actually the one with the incremental uh, bytes which is 080D0WQ, I think it is. And uh, that uh, is the chip we are going to try to read. That chip, the first 32 bytes are protected. Uh, in order to write into those bytes, you need to erase the chip first. And that's where a lot of programmers uh, fail, is because they cannot erase that data. Uh, my Xprog definitely cannot do it, he's too old and he can't do it, and none of my other programmers can do it. Uh, when I've presented the IMKPA adapters, I mentioned that he's supposed to have an adapter uh, that should be able to allow me to do it, so we are going to try it. So I'm going to open this cluster and uh, we are going to remove that EPROM and then we'll see what we can do with it. Okay, cluster is in bits and there is the chip. I think my phone is going to be able to capture z very well the ST, the 080D0WQ. Um, I think when I said I might make two videos out of this, I might going to make a video straight after this to show how to retrieve the pin code from the cluster on this particular course of this. I uh, don't know if I'm going to do it today. Uh, depends how it goes. Anyway, um, and I will explain how to open the cluster, but well, it's already open. Anyway, let's kind of remove that, fire up the IM608 and try to see what we can do with it. Okay, and just before we put the chip into the IM608, uh, I just want to show you that the chip is right there. And uh, I'm going to try to read the chip so you can see that there is not a problem reading these chips. Uh, the problem is writing these chips. So you read this and the uh, M3508 is still here from the last time I've worked on the BMW. Um, anyway, uh, so we're going to do a new. So let's try to read this. I don't know if the contact is, is good in there. Let's see what it does. So def okay, so it's a poor contact on the chip. Just let me move the chip a little bit about until I manage to read it. And there is a little bit of uh, wiggling on the chip and we have all the data. As you can see, you know, I can see the pin code already. Uh, anyway, so the problem with these chips, guys, as you've seen, I've just read the chip. The problem with these chips is the first two lines, the first 32 bytes, uh, is where the mileage is. And you, you need specific tools to erase this. If I try to erase this chip, I get this. And it stays here forever. Uh, Xprog just comes up with that and it stays here forever and it does not erase the chip okay I can't erase the chip full stop will not erase so let's now gonna try this on the IM608 and see if we get a different result right no I'm not gonna do any screen recording guys get used to it so there's some updates but doesn't matter let's gonna go straight to this Actually, no, let me do the updates first. Okay, and glad I'm doing it because some of the updates are actually for the system itself. As you can see there right at the top. So I'm going to do all the updates and then we'll carry on. Okay, and all the other updates are for diagnostics and immobilizer. Not really worried. So let's kind of go to programmer. Okay, so there's no update. So let's kind of go to chip. Chip read and write. We're going to go to EPROM. Is a ST. 
and that's a M35. I don't think is nothing here. Oh, actually, is the 080. I believe this is the one I need. Schematic diagram. There we go. So it tells me to use uh, adapter APB126. That's going to get the adapter 126. That's the one. No, sorry, is that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. So I'm going to take out of the box and put in there, put the chip, and then we'll proceed. Okay, chip is in place. So pin number one is marked over there with a little arrow. And as you can see, uh, there's a little bit of glare, but you can see roughly the ST. So the letters are facing that way. Uh, usually is how it is. So now we're going to try to see what we do. I hope there's a good contact and it's not going to do the same as Xprog did. So let's going to do read. See if we get the same data. There it is. So exactly the same data. There we go. Okay, so you read the chip absolutely fine. Well, here we only have hexadecimal. We don't have the ANSI data, but we're going to presume. Let me just let's just gonna do a quick check. So zero five nine nine zero five nine nine. Let's gonna go to Xprog. All done because I've saved that file somewhere. Zero five nine nine zero five nine nine. So absolutely fine. So we're going to assume that the read was absolutely fine. Now we're gonna go back. And let's gonna do right. Okay, so now now he's gonna ask me for something. Okay, let's gonna do something here. Uh, let's cancel this. Come on, back, cancel. Uh, okay, let's gonna read. Let's gonna do one thing here. Just a test. So I've read it. I'm gonna save this as D80 per ROM, and I will do. Corsa D test. Okay. As you can see in there, that's going to save. So it saved okay. Now I'm going to edit that file. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to home. I'm going to go there. Let's open a file. Uh, D80 Corsa D test. Okay, so let's gonna edit. So, oh, there we go. So, here is my ANSI data on the side, and let's see if we can see the same. Uh, there we go. Here is the VIN number. I can see already the pin code as well. Anyway, let's gonna go to the top, and that's what I want to do. Let's see if I edit this here at the top. So, if I do Zero zero. Well, that's already zero zero, isn't it? Well, this is letters. Zero zero. Zero zero. Zero zero. It's not editing, isn't it? Oh no, it is. Sorry, sorry. It is editing. So it is editing. Uh, I should be able to put this. No, I don't think I can. Can I? No. Okay. This editor is nothing special, to be fair with you. But I want to edit all these lines. So as you can see, the 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 other two lines. They are already all on zero, so I just want to put the first two lines as well here, which is one line. It's the first 18 bits, but or bytes. But let me go here. Okay. Now that one. So the first line is done. Let's do the second line. Let's 
Ah, I can do them all, well done. Looks like I can do them all, like this. I was just going back and forth, no need. I think that's it now. Have a look, there we go. So the first two lines now, or the first four lines, in this case, they are all empty, there's no data at all, okay? Or all zeros, I would say. I'm going to save that file. File is saved. Now I'm going back to my programmer. Okay, now we're going to write the file. And I'm going to look for my D80. There we go. Okay. I'm going to read the data again. And as you can see, the first two lines now are completely erased. That's just going to do another test, which is put it on the Xprog, just to make sure. Okay, so the chip is now here. Now let's kind of open. I don't want to touch this one, so we can then compare both. Let me open a new one. Let me just... Make this a little bit shorter. Put in there. Let's read. Hope there's a good contact on the chip. Let's see if it is. No, it is not. Let me try again. Hold on a second. Let's try again. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, it took me a little bit. I had to end up cleaning the adapter. This adapter, I've used it for so many years that it's it's, it's playing up, it's probably too worn anyway, but I just got a good read and as you can see the difference here Absolutely perfect, okay Absolutely perfect um, And I think that's it really guys for this video Um one thing that uh, worth pointing out is that if the chip is blank So with all zeros now here at the top Xprog will be able to write this same data again okay uh, but with anything else in here it will not allow you to write so let me try for example open a new just so you can see this obviously I believe the newer versions of Xprog they can do it uh, but not my version and a lot of um, EPROM uh, readers and writers that cannot support this particular chip, they, they are not able to do it. So uh, that one is 0.599, so let me try some different data. Let's say, for example, if I was try to uh, change the mileage, for example, uh, let's say, for example, uh, 25, and then, I don't know, uh, 81. So 25, 81, 25, 81, 25, 25, 81 25 81 25 81 I missed something here didn't I oh dear me what have I done Ugh. 25 81 25 81 25 81 ah, it was here so 25 81 25 81 2581. So let's say for example that I've changed the mileage on this particular car and now I want to write this 2581. So this is the original uh, backup as you can see in there at the top and the top line says 0599 0599 blah blah blah. So now uh, it's another log file I want. So now I've changed to 2581 whatever mileage that might be. So if you remember where is the other file? See here? So this is the file we just read from the chip, which is blanks at the top, okay, all zeros. I will read it again, just so you can see. There it is, so all zeros at the top. If I try to write this 2581, now, am I going to give me an error? Let me see if it does give me an error or not. No, it didn't. There we go. So, he wrote this file. Now, let me try to go here again and read the file. Read the chip again over here at the top. There we go, 2581, 2581, okay? But now, if I try to 
put the original mileage again. I don't need you. With the 0599, as you're gonna see. Bingo, gives me this. Now, even if, uh, if, I, even if I tell him to continue, it's just gonna stay here forever, okay? It's not going to write, okay? If I stop, or if I try to actually, hold on a second, if I try to erase the chip first, for example, uh, erase, again, it stays here, it just doesn't go anywhere. And now if I come here, where is the other one? So this is 25, so as you have seen, so if I read the chip again, Let me get a, a blank one, actually. Don't save this. Open. New one. So if I read the chip again, as you can see, I have 2581, 2581. And look at that, all zeros, because that's when I was trying to write, and it just failed completely. It just messed up the data on the chip now. Right? You can see that? is not going to write that because I was trying to write a file that failed at the start because the data is different now if I try to write this why it doesn't come down I think I moved it too much to the top didn't I anyway this is a 2581 file so if I try to write this one in It should allow me to do it because the data at the start is the same and then it's going to write the rest of it. But because the data at the top is the same, it allows me to do it. So if I read this chip again, I don't know if you guys are understanding. I really hope you guys do. There we go. So I have all my data back in. Okay. So now we wrote the first data, the first line, because the data is the same. So it doesn't need, because he sees that is the same data, it just allows me to do it. And then he writes the rest of the chip. The problem is the top is the first two lines guys that's the biggest problem um, on this particular chip and you need a proper programmer to do it <clears throat> as you have seen I can only do it if the chip is either blank on the first two lines okay or I can only write and read the chip the rest of the chip if the first two lines if I don't change the first two lines if you want to change the mileage which is those first two lines in this case it looks like everything is just on the first line and I think because I've been here messing about with it, I already corrupted the second line because the second line was all zeros as well. And it looks like you went a little bit corrupted. Anyway, um, uh, so yeah, if I want to change the mileage, for example, um, you need a tool like that that is capable of writing on the top two lines. Okay, um, some programmers, they need to erase the chip first. Uh, looks like either the Maxi Cs, uh, the IM608 in the background, erases the chip and writes and, and writes the data straight away, um, or he just writes on top. I'm not really sure. Uh, it doesn't tell you what he's doing. Uh, but most of the programmers, uh, li uh, some other programmers that are capable of doing this, you actually need to erase the chip first and then write the data because otherwise you won't be able to write anything on it. So I think that's it, guys, for this video. Uh, a successfully a, su a successful demonstration really happy with it really happy to see that now I have a tool capable of uh, reading and writing this particular chip which I didn't have before and was one of the reasons why I bought this kit anyway so yeah a little bit of information here uh, guys with no further ado hope you enjoyed the video hope you found some information hope you find it useful if you do guys have any questions any comments put them below and like always, thanks for watching.